here from Pedalboard to Doom. We're here with Ike Amps. Ike, uh, what was your name, sorry? Peter Paul. Peter Paul. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about um, this amazing little platform that you got going yes, on here at the Amps? This is uh, the baseboard. And the baseboard, you use it in combination of the in-ear system. Yeah. There's always a lack of bass. No matter what in ears, but there's always lesser bass coming out of it, especially when you're in the uh, the five string or the lower D section. Yeah. What we've done, we have uh, two shakers inside of it, connected through a normal bass amp, which produces the frequencies between 10 and 200 hertz, because that is the range that you need. Yeah. And that is mainly what you feel. Yeah. It's like standing on an 8x10 speaker, but then underneath you. Yeah. It's quite a lot of movement. It like it feels no matter what the volume of the amp is at, it feels like you're playing much louder than you actually are. Yes, and even if you have it on a lower level, yeah, you can still feel ever so slight movement in your feet. But you can also feel it even if the bass is out of tune because you're not in balance. Yeah, you can feel the... that, especially if you do two Ds. You can feel that there's all that movement between yes. the notes. We have three different sizes. This is an 8080. We have a small board that is 5580. And we also have a large board that is pallet size. It's 12080. So for every. Yeah, or you, if you want to do those rock positions. Yeah, for sure. So, um, with each of those sizes, are they different ohms? Do they need different speakers to drive in? This one is 599 in euros. Yeah. The smaller one yeah. is 50 euro less yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's lesser wood. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The bigger one is 50 euros more okay. yeah. because it's more wood. Yeah, yeah. The, the ingredients are the same. Yep. The effect in the mount, in the amount of effect yep. is the same. It's only the size of the level that is difference in yep. comparison. So this is 300 watts, 8 ohms. It's 600 watts. Oh, 600 this one. Okay. It's, they're all 600 all watts. All 600, right. Okay. Because there are two shakers in it. Yeah. They're to each other. Uh -huh. 300 plus 300. Okay. Yeah. That is totally sick. So, have you seen the other, the underneath side? Oh, we should do that for the video. Okay, pull that up, quick. It's very easy to take with you because there's this grip on the, so you can easily bring it with you this way. Nice. If you're living in an apartment, you can see that it's not vibrating on the outside with the inside so there are gummy rubber feet on the inside as well so if you have downstairs neighbors use a small carpet underneath it and it will stop the vibration from going through it go lesser through if you're not using it if you're not standing on it it will do yep. and it hey there's some movement yep. my neighbor is doing something and it works it works perfect uh, we're not only using it for bass players but also key bass yep. and bass uh, you can use it for uh, keyboard and guitarist when you use the right octave. So it, there are more to only use it for bass. Yeah, there's Home more studios. applications than, yeah. than just bass. Definitely. Now, this will work with most bass amps or just your own? It works with mo most bass amps, but be sure to at least run it with 8 ohm, 300 watts. Yeah. Because it seriously needs power. Yeah. In the range of the 10 hertz, 200 hertz frequencies. Yeah. Great, thank you so much, man. So to demo this, as you guys can feel it, we're going to put a water bottle on the board so you can see how much motion there is in the platform moving. Thank you.